Hello, this is Cynthia in the Teaching Learning Center, and I'm creating this video for students specifically to show them the new environment for Blackboard Collaborate. If your instructor has been using Collaborate to, for online meetings with you, um, then yours, it's going to be, have a little bit different look for you and how you access the tool. So um, in your courses up until this point, you probably had a, a navigation menu item that said something like Collaborate Meetings or Blackboard Collaborate. And when you clicked on that button, you saw a screen similar to this with a Join Room, a big conspicuous button. And if there were any recordings available, they were listed below here. Um, and so that's what this video is about. That tool has been updated, so it's going to have a different look. So now let's take a look at what the new tool looks like. These changes just took place yesterday, August 29th, 2016. So you may see a change in your course um, even today. If you had recordings um, that were created by your instructor prior to yesterday afternoon, then the button that might have said Blackboard Collaborate or Collaborate Meetings or something like that before has now changed to say something like Blackboard or Collaborate Recordings. Because with the, the tool that you were using prior to yesterday, that's the only thing that will be available from that tool at this point is just any recordings that were already created. All right, um, the new tool called Blackboard Collaborate Ultra has a very different look. So I'm going to click on that. And it almost looks like the session is starting right in this window, but that's not the case. Um, so you can see there's no big join room button. It's just a link here. And this is a course room. That's the, what the join room button was before. It's your course room. Um, but I wanted to specifically explain is this section here that's the most um, visible. It says, looks like you don't have any upcoming sessions. Don't pay any attention to that. That means if the instructor um, decided that they wanted another link to a different room from the course room. So for example, if um, for student access, if there were you had group work and he wanted to create a he or she wanted to create a session that was available for their students, um, just for them to work in without the instructor's um, access, they can create a separate session for that. Um, but unless they've done something like that, this is the only link that you need to pay attention to. All right, so um, so you're looking for a button that says something like Collaborate Ultra. Again, if there were any previous recordings to yesterday, uh, recordings created before yesterday, then you'll have a second button called Recordings. Um, if there were no recordings created before yesterday, then you'll only have the one button available. And, and the, when you click on it, you should see something like this. All right, you'll just click Join Room. Don't worry about this. Looks like you don't have any upcoming sessions. And then just carry on as you normally had in the past. So if you have any questions about using Collaborate um, session, just ask your instructor. Thank you.